CBS 6 Sports with Doug Sherman. Welcome back, everybody. On this 144th opening day of Saratoga, we've talked tradition, we've talked fans, we've talked tailgating. But what about the actual event itself, the best thoroughbred racing in the world? Kelly O'Donnell joins us live from the track with the story of a woman who is off and running on opening day. Kelly? Yeah, that's right, Doug. The name Rosie Napravnik was probably relatively unfamiliar to most horse racing fans in Saratoga at the start of the day, but it didn't take long for Rosie to make a very impressive introduction to her fans in this track. The five horse, Nino oh Wonderful, was the long shot in today's first race, but as jockey, she's never once considered herself an underdog. It never really occurred to me that there could or couldn't be a female jockey. It's just uh, doing what I love to do, so that's always what I've done. And sure enough, it took Rosie Napravnik just one ride to land a long shot in the Saratoga winner's circle. I couldn't think of a better way to start off the meet. Saratoga's first winner of the year is also the track's newest rider. The 24-year-old New Jersey native is in her first full meet at the spa, a dream she first imagined 17 years ago. When I was six or seven years old, uh, my sister was uh, dabbled in pony racing a little bit, and of course I wanted to do everything my sister did, so uh, that's when I decided to become a jockey. And this year, she became the first female jockey to ever win the Kentucky Oaks, earning herself quite a reputation with trainers. I think Rosie is one of the next big superstars of the game. Not long ago, a female jockey would never earn such praise. Napravnik's part of a changing culture. Let's face it, women athletes are as good as ma male athletes, especially in this business. Sometimes women are even better. At this point, I think if you can prove yourself as a competitive rider, it's not going to matter what sex you are. And now riding in Saratoga, it's part of her childhood dream, just not all of it. I'm right in the middle of my dreams coming true, so uh, when I retire, I'll sit back and, and reflect on it. <laughs> Before that, she hopes to win the biggest races in the sport, and who knows, maybe a Saratoga riding title. She's off to a pretty good start. At least for the next 15 minutes, I'm the leading rider at Saratoga. <laughs> so, um, no, it's just a great way to start off the meet. And Rosie made a repeat trip to the winner's circle in the fifth race, riding a Todd Pletcher trained horse. She won her second race of the day by a whopping 12 lengths. Live in Saratoga, Kelly O'Donnell, CBS 6 Sports.